excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very pleased to present the 2022 edition of the United Nations World Water Development Report, titled Groundwater Making the Invisible Visible. The report describes the opportunities and the challenges associated with the development and management of groundwater across the world. The WWDR is the UN Water's flagship report on water and sanitation. Published by UNESCO on behalf of UN Water, its production is led by the UNESCO World Water Assessment Program, who coordinates the contribution of the members and partners of UN Water. The 2022 edition is the result of the concerted efforts of the UN agency listed here, with the contribution and inputs of several other UN Water partners. Groundwater is everywhere and accounts for 99% of all liquid fresh water on Earth. It can provide society with tremendous social, economic and environmental benefits and opportunities. In the context of growing water scarcity across many parts of the world, the enormous potential of groundwater and the need to manage it sustainably cannot be overlooked. As I said, groundwater is plentiful. At the global level, however, only one-fourth of the total fresh water that we use comes from groundwater. Its full potential is still largely unexploited. Currently, the agricultural sector accounts for 69% of all groundwater abstractions, followed by 22% for domestic uses and 9% for industrial purposes. While in the past 70 years some countries tremendously increased groundwater withdrawal, other countries, particularly in Africa, have yet to take full advantage of their groundwater resources. Africa possesses large groundwater resources, their volume being estimated more than 100 times that of the annual renewal of its freshwater resources. Most countries in Western and Central Africa have little groundwater storage but high annual rainfall and therefore a regular recharge. Conversely, many countries in Northern Africa have considerable groundwater storage which was mostly recharged millennia ago. In spite of all this, his groundwater withdrawal is low, slightly less than 5% of the global total, mostly due to insufficient financial means for exploration, infrastructure investments, and lack of specialized capacity. Groundwater is not only important for human uses, but it is also fundamental to support the freshwater ecosystems to mitigate and adapt to climate change and holds religious and spiritual values. Groundwater is less impacted by climatic variation and evaporative losses than surface water. Adaptation measures can exploit groundwater storage and the capacity of aquifer system to store seasonal or episodic water surplus. In terms of CO2 reduction mitigation, the heat stored in groundwater called geothermal energy can be transformed into electricity or used directly for heating, cooling, and other uses. Deep aquifers can be used for carbon sequestration to curb accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Groundwater supports the base flows of streams and rivers, a crucial service to avoid the risk of falling dry during periods of drought. Riparian zones, wetlands, and other fresh Water ecosystems depend on groundwater as well as many terrestrial ecosystems and related biomes. This invisible resource is often poorly understood and consequently undervalued, mismanaged and even abused. In spite of its overall abundance, groundwater remains vulnerable to over-exploitation and to pollutions, both of which can have devastating effects on the resource and its availability. 
groundwater storage depletion is a major global problem. Its rate is estimated between 100 and 200 cubic kilometers per year. It causes declining groundwater water tables, often times beyond economical rechargeable depths. The quality of groundwater is generally good, which means it can be used safely for drinking purposes and other human uses. Compared to surface water systems, groundwater systems are usually better protected against pollution due to the filtering power of rock formation. However, groundwater pollution is a virtually irreversible process. One con once contaminated, aquifers tend to remain with polluted waters. To sustainably untap the full potential of groundwater, we need to have in place sound governance framework and management plans. Groundwater management aims to control withdrawals and avoid contaminations. Deployment of several groundwater management tools is contingent upon first having the legal and institutional structure in place that grant authority for their use and enforcement. However, not all management occurs through governments, community, and or groundwater users themselves may independently choose to manage well siting and groundwater abstractions. Policies, strategies and plans should be based on the priorities and aspiration of the local population and informed by sound scientific evidence. Data collection and sharing of information are often deficient especially in low-income countries. Groundwater data collected with public funds should be freely accessible, and private companies should disclose relevant information on subsurface parameters. For example, geophysical and borehole data acquired during oil and gas exploration could improve knowledge of aquifer extent and characteristics. The majority of large aquifer systems, particularly in Africa, is transboundary. They represent a sizable share of ground, global groundwater resources, and many of them are connected to valuable freshwater ecosystems. Actions on the aquifer in one country can have a significant impact on the other side of the border. Therefore, establishing transboundary aquifer cooperation is a priority. In conclusion, groundwater represents an enormous supply of fresh water globally. In a world of ever-growing water demand, where surface water resources are often scarce and increasingly stressed, the value of groundwater is poised to become progressively recognized by everyone. Unlocking the full potential of groundwater will require strong and concerted efforts to manage and use it sustainably. And it all starts by making the invisible visible. Thank you very much for your attention and happy World Water Day. <laughs>